Hey everybody, welcome to another one. Welcome to the channel. This is our monthly swing watch list for the month of September. Some of these have triggered already, some of them have not. But we're going to go through them anyways. We're going to show you what's good, what's not. Thank you guys for joining me today. I put these watch lists out for you guys for free every single month. I do the weekly swings every single week. And I do daily watch lists every single day outside of the first trading day of the week. So thank you guys for joining me. They are free. In saying that, when the ads pop up, I'd appreciate it if you let those ads roll through. They help pay for my time to keep these videos free for you guys. So thank you guys for watching, tuning in. Let's get started. The screen you see in front of you, that is TradingView. If you are looking to day trade or swing trade, you're going to need something like this. I've got a link in the description below. That link will give you a free 30-day trial to TradingView. And then if you decide to actually go ahead and use their sub-based services, you get up to $30 off of that subscription. So make sure you check out that link in the description below. We're going to start out with AFRM. So AFRM, this is one of the ones that has already triggered. So coming into this, this was a two down finish green. We were looking in the month of August for it to trend up. It did. It finished with a hammer candle. So a hammer candle is an actionable signal. There's three actionable signals when we talk about the strat. There's a hammer candle, which is a bullish pattern. There's a, a shooter candle, which is a bearish pattern. And then we have these colored inside bars here, colored yellow. Outside bars are colored white, part of the indicator I created for you guys on TradingView. When we have those hammer candles, we look for things to trend to the upside. So with AFRM, this was our trigger. We were already two up on the month. Does that mean you can't get into it now? It does not because we're looking for it to hit targets here, okay, at 22.70. That's, that's our target that we're looking for. So we haven't hit magnitude. You could go down to a smaller time frame, whether that's on the week uh, on the two week and you can look for a spot to get back into this trade. Okay. BA that's Boeing. So Boeing current month is sitting inside bar. So we had a two up finish red in August. So we're going to look for this to trend back to the downside. And we talked about this in the weekly video, because if we go to the weekly, we have a two up that finished red shooter candle right here on the week. We're looking for it to trigger to the downside. If it triggers and hits first targets, that first target is our trigger on the monthly, okay? So it presents us an opportunity to stay in this trade a little longer. So if you wanted to use the weekly as your trigger, you could get in, you could take your expiry further out, maybe into an October uh, or a November expiry, and you could look to swing this for a little bit longer if we trigger to the downside on the week, okay? So domino effects, when we use the strat, the week triggers the month, etc. We move on to Alibaba. So Alibaba had an inside bar in August. We're still currently trading inside bar in September. We're looking to break either one of these sides. Now, these trades a lot of times take a little bit longer for us to to navigate and get into because we have to wait for those those triggers to approach we're not front running these so we'll see how alibaba plays out but you have this inside bar and inside bars in the past i've always told people who are struggling with trading or new to trading to concentrate on the inside bars do they always have the big runs that we expect no and, and the way i look at inside bars are when you see these yellow bars painted from my indicator you think of them as a spring being squished compacted loaded and when you remove that spring, you expect an explosion to one side or the other. Now, we don't always get that, but we trigger this inside bar and we hit targets, okay? So it did its job. If we go back a little further, this one did not work. We triggered, we didn't hit targets, it barely moved below and then just reversed the other direction. And that's probability. So every trade we look at, is always based off of probability. So probability tells us that the majority of the time we get this kind of run. One, two, three, four months of a downtrend on Alibaba off of this inside bar. But sometimes we get this where we trigger, but in all essence, we hit targets, okay? So it did its job, it just didn't run any further. So we go back and look, here's a 3-1 setup, triggered, didn't work, okay? And that's okay, it's not always going to work. Here we go, triggered, we gapped up off of this monthly setup, 
okay? Sometimes we'll gap. Now, they don't always work, but here we go. This is what we expect. We trigger and we fall down for two straight months, okay? That's the kind of thing we're looking for off the inside bars. We trigger, we trend down for two straight months. That's the probability. They're high probability setups, and that's why we go over them. We move on to BAC. So BAC, again, we're working off of this big inside bar here. So we've opened up in September already. If we trigger to the downside on the weekly, there's our weekly setup again. We're stuck inside bar on the weekly. If we trigger, our first target is the monthly trigger, okay? So that weekly swing can turn, even, turn into an even longer swing uh, over the months. eBay, we've already triggered to the upside, so you can wait for a re-trigger because we have come back down. Or you can look for it to tag that 50% marker. So this is something that I've got on my indicator. If we go into it, I can show you guys the settings. We go and click on the monthly. And that gives me my 50% line of the previous week. So if we close below that or come through that, I would be looking for eBay to go outside bar on the month. GE looking to break out of an inside bar here as well. So we can look for calls at 115.85, puts at 110.02. Goldman Sachs looking to break out of this inside bar. This is the current month. We're looking for triggers here. Let me get rid of those. And we're looking for triggers up here. So obviously Goldman Sachs to the upside is a lot further than if we went to the downside. Home Depot, two up finished red. We'll see if this continues to trend down off of this seller action here in August. We very well might just have a 2-2 continuation with Home Depot. JP Morgan, working off an inside bar. Again, we have that weekly trigger to go to the monthly trigger off of the first weekly target. Okay, we're looking to break the weekly trigger or the, the weekly trigger for this week. And then the target on the weekly trigger is the trigger for the month. That sounded a little confusing, but the trigger on the week, hit your targets, triggers the month. Okay, that's on JP Morgan. INTC, we had this inside bar hammer candle. We've already gone two up and we're halfway to hitting that first target on INTC. And I, listen guys, I'm not a call out service. I'm here to teach you guys how to do this. You guys can go mark these out um, on your own when the month ends, when the week ends, when the day ends and see how they play out. You can come to me for, for questions. I'm on Twitter. I have a free Discord. That link is in the description. There's a paid portion in there, but the majority of it is free. The paid portion gets you this indicator that we've talked about. The paid portion gets you one-on-ones with me through Google Meet. The one-on-one -on -one, or the, the membership gets you live trading bots, okay? Uh, it gives you a one-hour strat course that I've created for you guys. So it gets you a whole bunch of stuff for a low price of 50 bucks. And that's all I'm going to say about it. The information for that is down below. We go on to Coca-Cola. So Coca-Cola on this 3-1 setup, okay? We've already trended to the downside. We've got time frame continuity all over the map to the downside. We'll look for this to continue in the month of September. See if we can hit first targets right here at this outside bar on Coca-Cola. Lows, two down, finish red. Now, normally I would tell you guys to jump in these um, if they finish green, but we do have a hammer candle, which is a bullish pattern, okay? So we can still look for this to trend up. Our first target is not far away, right here at 237.25, okay? So we'll look for this inside bar current to go two up on the month on lows. We go on to lift. Lift also with that inside bar hammer candle, so we'll look for this to trend up as well off of that 1254 trigger. MU, 3-1 setup again, but we have this inside bar hammer candle. I think I said shooter candle before, but um, we have a hammer candle here. We're going to look for this to trigger. Time frame continuity in our favor. We'll look for those calls at 7108. The puts are still probable off of this inside bar, but we are much, much closer to going uh, two up on the inside bar than we are two down. Procter & Gamble, working off of this inside bar again, but we went two up red. We're going to look to trend down off of here, so our trigger is at 150.93. dollars 
QQQ, two down, finished red. And again, this is another one of those where normally I would like to see this green, but we are red. It is a hammer candle. So we're going to look for this to trend up on QQQ, calls it 383.56. And again, these are monthly swings. So I want you guys, you should be getting at least a month and a half out on these things. So you should be looking at uh, what mid-October uh, to mid-November or later for your expiry dates on these, okay? That's what I would be looking at. And then my strike price, again, I'm looking at a, if we're triggering at 383 here, I'm looking at like a 385, anywhere from a 383 to a 385 is what my strike price I'm looking at for on these. Roku, two up red. We're going to see if this trends back down off of the 2-2 two -two reversal. Puts at $75.12. Uh, space, we're going to take off of there um, because we currently are sitting two down. I, I know I left space on here. I left space on here because I wanted to make sure you guys understand the power of an inside bar, okay? So this was in uh, July. This is what happened in August. We triggered, we hit multiple targets and had this big, big downtrend, okay? That was a fantastic move um, on space throughout the month of, of August. So you guys would have done very, very well off of the break of that inside bar on space, we look at SPY, so SPY very much like QQQ has that two down, finish red, but we have that hammer candle, okay? So we're gonna look for this two trigger to the upside. First target, not very far away, but that's what we're looking for on SPY. We move into Tesla. Tesla again, two down, finish red, but we have that hammer candle. So that's what I'm looking at is that hammer candle, that actionable signal from the strat. We're gonna look for calls at 266.47 on Tesla. Tesla is more expensive at the best of times, never let alone on the monthly swings. So even the day trades are very, very expensive for Tesla. So if you're looking for something cheaper, um, it's stuff like CCL, uh, Ford, Coca-Cola, uh, ticker symbols like that will have cheaper options for you guys on your swing trades. Uber, same idea, okay? Has his inside bar, hammer candle. We're gonna look for it to break to the upside as it's closer, but it also has potential to break to that downside as well. XLV, inside bar, we'll call that a shooter candle. I'd like to see this body a little bit further down, but again, we, here we have that weekly trigger, this pink line. So if we trigger the week, the first target on the weekly is the trigger for the monthly. So that's what we're looking at. Now, these, Purple lines also represent the three-month chart. So if I go to the three-month chart, we've gone two up on the three-month chart off of this inside bar. Now, if we come back down through the 50% mark of that three-month bar, which is somewhere in this range, is 130, you can look to go outside bar on the three-month chart, okay? So like I said before, it's fra everything's fractal. The week triggers the month, triggers the two month, triggers the three month, and so on and so forth. That's a list, guys. I wish you nothing but the best if you're trading off of this list. If you're day trading, if you're swing trading, good luck. Make sure you check out the free Discord. I'm on Twitter, at Mr. Clark Griswold. Leave your comments, questions. Give me a thumbs up. Watch the ads. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Do all the things. I'm here for you guys to help you out, to help you become more uh, profitable, more consistent traders. Good luck trading, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.